People keep asking me, where did you get your Four Flames logo? And the story is a very long and interesting one, and I'd like to share it with you. Uh, it was many years ago when I was just a newbie. Erickson was just a newbie. We were thinking through, who are we going to be? What are we going to be? What does Erickson really mean as a coaching college? And in that, those early days, a lot of questions came up about uh, four quadrant thinking. What made Erickson unique? And we definitely knew we had very powerful and important ways to teach coaching that had never been considered yet. So people challenged me, get us a good logo, Marilyn. And I thought about it for a while, but nothing came to mind until one special day when I was in Antalya, Turkey. Now, some of you have been to Antalya, Turkey. Ericsson does a lot of events there. Very special place on the coast of the Mediterranean. It's beautiful. It's a place with lots and lots of Roman history lots and lots of Greek history. And we have loved doing courses there for the last 30 years. And in the times before that, when I was first uh, starting out working in Antalya, I would sometimes take groups up a wonderful mountain. And this mountain uh, is actually Mount Olympus, the first Mount Olympus. Now, Mount Olympus, you say, well, that's in Rome. That's near Rome. That's in Italy. Well, they named it after the Mount Olympus in Turkey. And in the early days, people would run carrying a torch. And the torch, uh, they'd start at Mount Olympus and run to wherever the games were being held that the Romans began several centuries ago. Now, why did they carry the torch? Because what fired them up a lot was a vision of the original Mount Olympus in Turkey. Now, on that mountain is a very special place. It's unknown to many people, but to the ancients, it was a widely known phenomena. No one understood it. No one figured it out. It was the place of the gods. It's a huge stretch of mountainside right near the top where all there is is rock and flame. There's little flames coming out of uh, small holes in the rock that have been there for thousands of years. And those flames burn consistently. They don't go out. People try to put them out. They pour water on them. They do various things. But by the next day, the fire is burning brightly again. The fire does not stop. Now, to the ancients, that was amazing. That's the, that's the result of the gods having an effect. And so they told stories of Pegasus arriving to get power from the rocks. Uh, various gods having warfare to own that place. They had pictures in their minds of the god of learning uh, sitting there and instructing uh, the young gods. So this is a spot that people go and visit. Now it takes a hike. You truck up at least a mile up the mountain. Wonderful stairs are embedded in the mountain to take you there. Some of you have gone there. It's a wonderful hike, isn't it? And when you get to the amazing face where you see the fires on the mountain, it does feel like history has been written there. 
that this is a place of deep importance to mankind. That we know our own inner magic, our own inner fire, when we sit beside the fires that burn forever. It's a metaphor for human development, a metaphor for human competence, a metaphor for learning and loving our life. So one day, here I am, climbing the mountain, and what am I thinking about? I'm thinking about Erickson, this developing new seed of a coaching college, of a coaching developmental center. I'm thinking of how it's going to grow. And in the back of my mind comes a question of our logo. What might it be? And as in several times before, I found a lovely rock face beside a fire burning in a beautiful setting. And I start to sit and ponder some of these questions. And from time to time, I look over at the flames. Now, I'm thinking about four quadrants. I'm thinking about various logo aspects. What might it be? And I notice that the four flames have a certain quality. They look like one big flame, the next. And next, and the next. And I love the form. And I think about our four aspects, one larger than the other, and always burning inside of us the four developmental needs for humanity. We're growing ourselves, we're growing our physical capacities, we're growing our relational capacities. See, that's a really important one. And a big part of that is growing our creative capacities, discovering how to use this huge brain system that we have to develop our next level of being human. And all of this is making human life meaningful. We are the species creating meaning. And we're creating it through the questions we ask, the listening we do, the sharing we do, the loving we do, the way in which we serve humanity. We're servant leaders coaches for all humanity. And the four flames represent our leadership and our willingness to make a difference through coaching. Use the four flames. Develop all these aspects in yourself. Develop these aspects in everyone you coach. Thank you.